So football for life skills encompasses so many things, but one thing that we are very, very passionate about is educating young people to use their voice. Do not give them the ball unless they ask for it. The most obvious impact is from the first day to the last day, the way the coaches, the participants are using their voice. Maybe they were quiet on the first day, maybe they were very reluctant to use their voice, and then the final day they're, you know, raising their hands more and, and speaking their mind. <laughs> No, the children, their family uh, live in the province and they used to do agriculture. Uh, when there's no rain, they cannot do it. And when there's flood, uh, Whatever they grow is gone, so they moved to Phnom Penh looking for some job. More of them cannot read and write, so they end up uh, collect the rubbish and sell it. And when the children move to Phnom Penh, they cannot afford to go to school. They also go out and collect the rubbish to support the family. Pretty much every game that we do from the health and wellness and life skill program is to enable children to talk about whatever their issues are but feel safe to do it and basically the safe space for them is when we're playing football and using football for social impact. When I grow up I want to hear the voice of my player football in the World Cup. When I grow up, I want to be a good football coach and a good leader in Cambodia. When I grow up, I want to have a whole world live in peace. <laughs>